Uh, we're here at the uh, ASCHE uh, 2011 Spring Meeting, and I'm here with uh, Swati Rajkar, who's with uh, Chilworth. Uh, she is the manager of Chemical Process Evaluation Group, and she's going to talk to us about her uh, integration of safety uh, into the product development cycle. Uh, why don't you tell us about uh, what you've got going here? Dr. Steve Rowe and myself, um, Dr. Swati Rajkar, we have co authored uh, this article which discusses um, safe scale up of chemical processes and how do we do that? By integrating safety testing in our product life cycle. The first step uh, in any chemical process is the identification of the product, which, uh, in case of a pharma company, would be a molecule to fight a certain disease or it will be a highly complex molecule if it's a fine chemical company. Once uh, it has been identified, the chemist would select the chemical route for synthesis of that molecule, followed by process development or optimization of the process. Then comes the um, pilot scale production, followed by the large scale production. Um, the idea uh, that's being promoted in this article is that safety testing, if it's deficient in its data, can uh, result in a process which uh, is designed to be uh, unsafe. It could be either result in an underdesign or an overdesign. If it's an underdesign, it can um, result in a potentially hazardous situation. And if it's an over-design, it uh, can be an uh, added expense. So um, we are trying to explain uh, here the different data that need to be collected at different stages. Uh, and if the data that I'm going to explain to you, is, if it's collected uh, at each stage, will result in a highly robust process. It, uh, it will basically make it inherently safe. Inherently safe meaning it's part of the process, it's not an added on feature. Also, um, if the safety testing is conducted uh, way later into the process life cycle, uh, it may result in a um, process which has inherent uh, hazards built into it mm -hmm. and we want to avoid that. Mm -hmm. So um, we talk about uh, predicting uh, the hazards associated with the material when you're looking at the chemical root selection. So uh, we also discuss different um, tools here. For example, Cheetah, which is a, a software module um, developed by the ASTM committee. It predicts the heat of reaction. Uh, you can also use bond energy calculations. You can look, look at uh, literature review of uh, similar materials and uh, look at uh, your own molecule if it has functional groups that can be highly uh, unstable. So this can be done at a chemical root selection stage, which is very critical, which is pretty much the first step. And if you identify that there are some hazards uh, at this stage, you can either try to avoid. If uh, it's unavoidable, then you can try to build your process around those hazards, such that you avoid those hazards. You try to minimize or let lower the intensity of those hazards, operate at a temperature which is lower than the decomposition temperature of the product. Uh, details of uh, all the tools are included in the article. Okay. Now, you, the, you, the way you're speaking about uh, the, the chemicals you're looking at sounds like it's primarily organic hydrocarbon type chemicals? Uh, primarily, that's what okay. you would do. Has, has the concept been applied to anything um, inorganic or this hazardous for uh, corrosivity, you, toxicity, etc. versus explosions and fire? Uh, well, uh, primarily um, it discusses the assessment of exothermic reactions okay. and also materials uh, that are chemical 
mentally unstable okay. or can result in hazardous situations. Okay. Um, we definitely need to consider the toxicity issue when you're designing the process. Also, uh, reaction conditions need to be as mild as possible. When you say they need to be mild, it doesn't mean that it has to be a very slow process. It just needs to be uh, operated at a lower temperature. Does your method or, or what you bring to the customer, do you recommend or help them to conduct designed experiments on the front end in the R&D laboratory with respect to the, to the compound they're trying to make in various routes and conditions to make sure that they pick an optimal condition of, of yield versus safety? Absolutely. So that's one of the um, ideas here. Is, um, the way we work uh, is to get a process description mm -hmm. um, and then we prepare a strategy mm -hmm. to assess the process and uh, once uh, our customers or our clients uh, agree on the testing strategy, we we'll look at the um, properties of different, uh, the final product, the different intermediates, also the starting material. And based on the uh, stability of each of those components, we help them design their process such that they avoid uh, hazardous situations. Do you get involved in any uh, TOSCA-related work for new chemicals, or are you out of the regulatory field? For TOSCA filings for, for new uh, Not so much TOSCA related, okay. uh, but we do work with certain compliances. For example, uh, in New Jersey, we uh, work uh, with our clients to um, help them file uh, compliances for NJTCPA, okay. the New Jersey Toxic Catastrophe yep. Prevention Act. Um, okay. um, anything else you want to let us know before we let you go? Well, um, Safety testing is an integral part of the process life cycle and it's uh, highly recommended to conduct safety testing from the very beginning and not towards the end. If you uh, conduct testing towards the end, you there are chances that you would build uh, inherent hazards into the system. So, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure.